Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about equal size mixed flow reactors in series. Uh, but before going to uh, the details of mixed flow reactors in series, I want to draw a particular um, understanding when I talk about mixed flow reactors and plug flow reactors in general. In a plug flow, let's say you have uh, this kind of tubular reactor. You are aware that to uh, you know deduce the performance equation, we use a differential volume concept, right? So for the total volume of plug flow reactor being V, we uh, draw our performance equation across a differential volume dV. So here you have the feed. Uh, let's say A is the uh, reactant and we have some products R. Now, uh, the concentration of reactant decreases as we progress through the length of the reactor. Okay, and this happens in a plug flow system. But in a mixed flow system, a mixed flow system is essentially like a vessel. Okay, a stirred tank vessel. And you have an inlet and you also have an outlet flow. Okay. So, in this kind of system, the concentration drops immediately to a low value. Okay. It does not drop progressively. It drops immediately to a low value. And because of this reason, a plug flow reactor is more efficient when we are dealing with uh, reactions whose rates are increasing with reactant concentration okay like if you have this nth order irreversible uh, reaction kinetics then a plug flow reactor is more suitable it is more efficient because the uh, reactant concentration drops progressively across the length of the reactor not all at once like in case of a mixed flow reactor okay now let us consider the series system for equal size mixed flow reactors. So let me draw a system. So this is what a mixed flow reactor looks like. In the starting point we have C0 concentration X0 which is equal to 0 that is a fractional conversion. F0 is the molar flow rate at the initial point and V is the volumetric feed rate. The volume of the reactor is V1 and its residence, uh, I should not say residence time right now, I should say space time uh, that is equal to tau1. Okay, I will say why I mistakenly use the residence uh, time term over here shortly. So, the outlet is connected to another reactor. So, again we have another. So, here the inlet point is C1 and X1. And here again we have a stirred tank. So, the volume is V2 and its space time is tau2. So, likewise this continues for n systems okay so let me draw the nth system now this is the nth system so here you have uh, c n minus 1 comma x n minus 1 as the inlet point and this is v n comma tau n okay and the final output from here is cn xn so this is a system of n equal size mixed flow reactors connected in series and any unit in between is denoted by i okay we are going to use this convention now through the um, i mean through each of these uh, reactors the concentration is uniform for each reactor but there is a change in the concentration of the reacting fluid as it moves from one CSTR uh, or mixed flow reactor to the next. I am calling it CSTR because it is a continuous stirred tank reactor that I am 
um, exhibiting over here through this image. So through each reactor, the concentration within each reactor, the concentration is uniform. But overall, if you see, there is a variation in the concentration as the reacting fluid moves forward through the series. Okay. And this can be shown as a stepwise representation. So uh, it's like you are, let's say you're starting at this point, this is C0. So there is a stepwise drop. Okay. And this goes on. And this is the final C out. Or uh, here, like we have written uh, Cn. Okay, so this is how it goes. Now, uh, what I would like to tell over here is that if you increase the number of uh, stages, okay, if you increase the number of stages, let's say within this, you have already taken so many um, stages in between, stages of reactor in between. So, this slowly approaches a plug flow kind of behavior as you increase the number of reactors in uh, number of mixed flow reactors in series. Okay, the larger the number of reactors, the closer the entire behavior will be towards a plug flow approach. Okay, this is also a very important observation that you must know. Now, let us go to the uh, derivation for uh, the expressions for equal size mixed flow reactors. Uh, now, I will come to the point why I was calling it the residence time and uh, not space time earlier. So, for the derivation, we are going to assume that the density changes are negligible. So, density changes negligible means epsilon equals to 0 and that obviously puts to the fact that t is equals to tau okay and uh, as a convention we like to follow that for mixed flow reactors we will develop the equations in terms of concentrations instead of the fractional conversion because that is a more uh, comparatively easier approach to deal with okay so, obviously, we are going with the constant density uh, assumption. So, we can go ahead with the concentration uh, term as the basis of our derivation. Now, let us consider a first order reaction. Okay. So, I am considering the first order reaction. So, about the ith reactor, we are going to first place our performance equation. So, for the ith reactor, tau i will become equivalent to C0 Vi by F0. That is again equals to capital Vi by V. Capital Vi is the uh, volume of the ith reactor and small v is the volumetric feed rate. Okay. This can be written as C0 xi minus xi minus 1 by minus rai right this is the basic performance equation for the mixed flow reactor in case you are not aware of it uh, i suggest you to go through the other lecture videos that i have created for uh, studying the mixed flow reactor steady state mixed flow reactor performance equation so from there we get this now, because epsilon uh, or the volume ratio is remaining 0, uh, we can directly write it in terms of concentration. Therefore, I can write tau i is equals to C0 1 minus Ci by C0 minus 1 minus Ci minus 1 by C0. Let me pull this terms in a square bracket. Okay, just let me erase this. Yeah. This is the numerator divided by KCI. Okay. If you further reduce this, simply it becomes CI minus 1 
माइनस सी आई बाय के सी आई ओके सो फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन ऑब्वियसली राइट जस्ट बाय क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन सी आई माइनस वन बाय सी आई इक्वल्स टू वन प्लस के टाउ आई वेर के इज द रिएक्शन रेट कॉन्स्टेंट नाउ द टाउ टर्म इज द सेम इन ऑल द रिएक्टर्स बिकॉज दे आर इक्वल साइज एंड दे हैव द सेम वॉल्यूम वी आई सो टाउ आई इज सेम फॉर ऑल रिएक्टर्स ऑफ वॉल्यूम वी आई देर फोर दिस गिवस अस द अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट C0 zero by Cn, if I want to write, this becomes C0 zero by C1 multiplied by C1 by C2 multiplied by so on so on Cn minus one by Cn, and this means one plus k tau i whole to the power n. this is the expression that we get considering that tau i is the same for all reactors of volume vi and if you now rearrange this then tau for n reactors in series simply becomes equal to n multiplied by tau i and this finally gives you the expression n by k multiplied by c0 by cn to the power 1 by n minus 1 okay if this n is approaching infinity that is there is a, a large number of mixed flow reactors in series then you will get the tau term equals to 1 by k logarithm of c0 by c and this is approaching the plug flow behavior so this is how uh, we go about for using the performance equation for a single mixed flow reactor to obtaining the performance for n mixed flow reactors in series okay and this last two uh, you know expressions they serve as the connecting point between the plug flow reactor and the series of mixed flow reactors okay uh, and you can see for our derivation we have used the assumption that uh, for first order reactions with negligible variation in the density that is almost considering the constant density system you can evaluate the same thing for the second order reaction case as well okay and you will obtain uh, the suitable expression for that the idea is that for a volume of system um, that is required for a desired conversion let's say x i decreases to plug flow volume as the number of reactors or mixed flow reactors in series is increased so a large number of mixed flow reactors will ultimately give you a plug flow type behavior that is it thank you